Hello YouTube, Big Gaming Gamer here, and today I'm going to give you a video review of the Voodoo Fully Loaded Stomp Medical Backpack. Now it comes in a whole bunch of colors, jungle camouflage, desert camouflage, black, but I got the red one because uh, I wanted uh, a civilian color that would be very noticeable in an urban environment during an emergency situation. And let's face it, I don't want blood showing up on this thing constantly after I've been running around saving lives. So. After you get it and you pull it out of the box, you'll notice that there are a few things inside the box as well as your backpack. You'll get your uh, standard stomp, please do not remove the labels or destroy your packaging materials, blah blah blah, in case you want to return it, which you won't because it's awesome. The Voodoo Tactical One Year Limited Warranty. Voodoo Tactical Propaganda, buy our stuff. They do have some nice stuff, I'll give them that. And also inside the box you get an awesome hat. Uh, great for if you're in the Middle East or a desert environment and don't want to be found. Velcro American flag can be removed. There's also Velcro on the top part. You can put it there. There's also Velcro on the back where the strap is. Strap is Velcro and you can attach your flag there as well as you want. Blue tactical here, another one of their trademark signatures there, and one more there. Nice little free gift, a hat. I won't complain of that. All right, next. We'll actually take a look at the backpack itself. So here it is. It's nice. All right, first of all, the harnesses. Uh, these are free. This is uh, the, uh, the chest strap. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, very free. It slides around, so it depends on uh, how tall a person you are. You can adjust it to your height. Uh, good solid plastic straps. Uh, it's also got this um, spandex here. I'm assuming uh, if you stretch it right out, uh, it keeps it taut against your chest, which is pretty cool. Um, these are rather thick, and they're padded. They've got loops on there, so you can stick other gear in there. They got four of these little metal clasps that you can put stuff on. And also on the bottom here, they have a, a waist strap, very large one too. Uh, it has more of these uh, spandex straps so you can put the slack in there. Uh, this did not come in there. Uh, be nice to me, I gave blood today. I did not give blood today, but I do give blood, and uh, you should too, because uh, if you want to feel like a superhero, give blood, because it can save th the lives of three people. One donation. So uh, give blood, it's in you to give. All right, so anyways, uh, the top of the bag, uh, it's got this little uh, area here. You can see there's a hole here underneath this uh, spandexy material. Now I'm assuming this hole is uh, going to be for um, uh, a microphone. If you've got a radio in the backpack, you've got a microphone, you want to call an air support or something like that, you know, that's a pretty cool idea actually. It's got two handles, so you can get a good grip of it, uh, supporting the front and the back of it. Uh, it's got a couple of loops here, you can attach a few extra things to. Uh, I'll take a look at uh, the side here. It has an extra little uh, long shaft. Uh, almost looks like a knife, a knife sheath. Uh, but you can put something in there. I'm not too sure what. Maybe a knife. Who knows? You might have to cut somebody open and take their appendix out. Um, on the bottom here, it's got this on either side. I don't know what it's for, uh, but if it didn't have it, I wouldn't be as happy because I'm sure this is for something important. Maybe the people at Voodoo Tactical, if they see this review, they might be able to leave a message and tell me exactly what this is for. But there's uh, one on either side, and uh, I'm assuming you can use it to uh, strap extra things to, which is pretty cool. All right, now for the other side, same thing, got your long strap, and uh, it's got a sort of a reverse uh, button here so you can put something in there also uh, another uh, not as long sheath for something that you might want to put in there as you can see uh, it's at an angle how it's been stitched so something can slide in and slide out like that pretty cool 
All right, and uh, now the front of it. All right, so as you can see, it's got this viewing port here that you can put stuff in. I keep a uh, list of all my medical supplies in here, uh, as long as I also printed out a picture of an ECG reading and whatever, and I marked off the P wave, the QRS complex T wave, and all that stuff. Uh, it's got Velcro strips all along it, and it's also got uh, uh, these loops all the way down them. So you can put more uh, bags uh, through the loops and have just a whole bunch of stuff strapped to the front as well. Um, and one thing that it didn't show in the picture, which I really liked, is this. Yeah, a little Velcro uh, cross that comes with it. It's pretty cool. Sort of makes the whole backpack, really. I like it. All right, so let's check out the inside now, seeing as we've already had a good look at everything on the outside. All right, so first we'll take a look at the front section, as there are two sections. I should have pointed that out, eh? So there's two sections here. So the first one, as you can see, plenty of room. Uh, you get 10 of these eye wash sanitation. In, uh, as they have replaced the eye syringes, you get a uh, six full ounce of calamine lotion. You get uh, blood clotting spray. You get an analgesic burn pump spray. Uh, you get, what was it, 20 packs of uh, these painkillers, non-aspirins. I had to put everything into these Ziploc bags just to keep everything uh, a little bit more organized and uh, somewhat sanitary. Uh, you also get about 20 of these uh, uh, Crush Wants inhaler ammonia things. You know, these things are always fun. So a bunch of loops to hold everything in place. There's also here, you can see, there's a uh, area goes in about that deep, straight uh, from here to here. So you can put something else that's uh, long in there, maybe some notes or uh, something flat. Let's see what else. Uh, two medical shears. You get the uh, hand sanitizer. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of loops as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops. Uh, two regular Chap X lip balms. Uh, you get these scalpels. Uh, there's two different kinds here. Um, what is it? Uh, they're Sterilized by gamma radiation, single use carbon steel. Um, I can't remember exactly what the differences between these two were, but I'm pretty sure I knew what it was at one point. But, anyways, so you get five of these, I believe. No, you get six of these. You get a little pocket flashlight. You get a probe. This is uh, a number three knife handle for those surgical steel knives. The knife goes on and then clips into place along there, and then you can start cutting. All right, next. So you get tweezers. They're a good size tweezers, as you can tell. All this stuff is stainless steel, by the way. You get two curved hemostats. They are uh, the same sizes, same lengths. You get two regular straight edge hemostats.
you get a blood pressure kit. I'm uh, still getting used to using one of these as I've not really needed to use one before. Get a stethoscope. It's a reversible one with a bell. I've heard that those ones are preferable. You get two casualty lightweight blankets. Reversible. Uh, silver on one side, olive drab on the other side. Now, as you can see there, you have four large pockets. As you can see, it can obviously fit the, uh, the blood pressure monitor. So that's great. So that's it for this side then. And now for this side here. All right, so you get a whopping 100 of these Provodone, Provodone Iodine Prep Pads. You get, uh, what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About 20 alcohol prep pads. You get about six of these sting relief pads. And BZK swab. 20 of these BZK swabs. of these first aid burn creams. Now I had other burn creams that were in there for my own stuff. I uh, took out all of my medical supplies so I could just show you the stock bag as to what you get. So I've already taken out everything of my stuff. Uh, you get, uh, what was it, about 20? About 20 of these triple antibiotic packages. So it's got like five pouches in the front here, two here, two here, and then one big one. Uh, Non-adherent sterile pad. Uh, there's about 20 of these. I tore one open just to see what non-adherent meant. It's basically a long pad with two strips of tape uh, on the end. Uh, so uh, for meant for very large abrasions or cuts. A uh, hundred of these bandages, uh, they all came in this box. I, of course, got rid of the box because I don't need it. So you got all your different sizes. Woohoo! Great stuff. Uh, three rolls of uh, medical tape. Two of these face masks uh, in these neat little Velcro bags. Uh, if anybody's seen these things before, uh, you open it up and it's a long piece, a large piece of plastic. You put it over a person's mouth and air goes in one way, does not come out the other way, uh, so as to prevent the uh, transfer of uh, disease and whatnot uh, from uh, resuscitator and resuscitee. Gluco burst, uh, I guess for diabetics. Um, Arctic cherry, yum. Um, 1.3 ounces, 37.5 grams. Uh, just a severe shot of sugar, I guess. Uh, 
here, a latex tourniquet, if you can read that. Uh, it's pretty long and uh, latex, so it's, a, it's you know, it's, uh, it's like a rubber band. Uh, you get about 10 safety pins. You get five tongue depressors as well. And you get four of these airways, two small ones, two larger ones. Uh, so you can perform a, uh, uh, well, what's it called? Uh, a tracheotomy, which is pretty cool in the event it happens. Uh, I think there's about a dozen pairs of the sterile uh, non-latex gloves here. The first aid kit covers pretty much everything that you need to know really quick as you can see all this blah 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 those are all different things blah 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 even more stuff and uh, yeah so that's always good to have on hand in case you're panicking and you don't know what to do or how to save somebody's life you can just pull that out provided you're not panicking so much you forget about it which would be bad so that's it for the uh, front part of uh, the tactical medical backpack. Um, also, this uh, material here, it's very thick. There's uh, some padding on the inside, so, uh, you know, it'll take blows if you fall or something like that, you get hit by something. Uh, it's cushioned throughout the whole bag which is really good. That's very good quality. This is a very good quality bag. The bag alone has got to be worth about $150, if not $200. All right, so. And uh, I always flip this thing back. I always have a problem with backpacks that have this because it's hard to open, so I just flip it back. But look at these zippers. I want you to see these zippers. Look how heavy duty these zippers are. These are gonna last you a very long time. So, when you open up the uh, second uh, compartment, uh, one of the first things you're gonna notice is you get these two free bags, which I didn't even know came with it. It doesn't even list it. Uh, that you get these they just they're just there you you kind of see this one in the picture but you think it's part of the bag they don't even tell you that you get these so that's pretty cool so some velcro here you can put something in there you know to list whatever's in this bag this one's kind of cheap it's uh it's well constructed but it's got these velcro uh inlays but the rest of the velcro it's like cut halfway which I don't really get. But anyways, you know, it's another bag. You can put stuff in, which is pretty cool. Um, though I haven't really figured out what to put in it yet. I did have some things in there, but then I transferred it over to this one. Now this one's really good. This one's got like the same kind of padding on it that the, uh, that the bag has. Uh, it's got two loops here so that you can uh, put something on there and a handle. Same with this one, it's got two loops. And, uh, and it's got a handle. So this one's got way more complex inside. So you got like a bunch of little loops here, little small ones for like a probe or hemostats or, or, a sy or syringes. Uh, not syringes, but uh, scalpel, I meant to say. Uh, you got larger ones here for like uh, uh, the shears or maybe some small vials. You've got uh, this uh, piece of Velcro with a button on it. Yeah. <laughs> You've also got three large uh, slots to put stuff in. You have two more of these uh, larger loops. Um, on this side, you have a whole bunch of small loops and uh, two smaller, really flat ones, just like on this side here. Uh, two Velcro pouches that fold this back, and uh, you got a shallow one there, a couple of deeper loops there, another shallow loop here, a couple more deeper ones there, and another shallow one there. 
Uh, I do like this little bag that came with it as I was going to get one anyways. I keep a pulse oximeter here. I keep uh, an ECG monitor here. And uh, I keep the leads and the uh, UC uh, USB and uh, AC adapters uh, in here. And uh, I also keep my uh, a thermometer, my electronic thermometer in one of these. Uh, so uh, yeah, very cool little bag that comes with it. I mean, just for these three bags, that's got to be about $250. All right, now for uh, the front part of the second pouch. Now, there's a zipped up compartment here. I don't really have anything in here right now. Now, uh, you've got this area here. Zip, zip, zip. You, uh, lots of area. You can put uh, whatever in there which is great. Uh, here's something else that comes with it. Uh, these are sutures. Uh, this one's silk braided. You get two silk braided sutures and you get three uh, chromic gut sutures. Uh, chromic cat gut. Is that like real cat gut? Does that mean these things aren't vegan? I'm kind of curious about that. Not that it's a big idea. Not that it's a big deal. All right, so there's a pouch right here. There's a little pouch there. You got another one here. You got two little ones right there. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six larger loops that uh, also have a corresponding six smaller loops here. And then you got two flat loops here and uh, two thin ones, but uh, uh, they stick out loops here. And uh, you have another one of these uh, spandex uh, button dealies. Oh, also, yes, on this side as well. There's two here, so you can access stuff from either the bottom or the top, or the top or the bottom, or depends on how you look at it, really. All right, so that's that. You've also got another little uh, compartment here. It comes with a drawstring. Uh, you get... Uh, five of these topper dress sponges. You get 10 of these ABD pads, five by nines. This is a four by four. You get a one and five eighths and two and five eighths uh, oval eye patch. Actually, you get about five of them. You get two of these uh, vacuum sealed uh, trauma wound dressings, hemorrhage, hemorrhage control bandage. This is the four inch, you get two of them. So there's one here, one here. And this is the uh, six inch. So one there, one there. <laughs> yeah, I know, it is lots of good stuff in here. Eh? love this thing. All right, now on this side, you got uh, two sort of pouches here. Now, this zips open. You get three of these triangular bandages, 40 by 40 by 56. So you get three of those. And this one here, you get three of these quick clot first response advanced clotting sponges, uh, 3.5 by 3.5 inch. You get the, uh, the gauze sponge, you get about uh, 10 of these, 10 of these 2 by 2 12 ply gauze sponges. You get six of these uh, Hmm. It doesn't actually say right on it what it is, but I've got it written down right here. What exactly is it? I've got it all labeled as well. Uh, bandages are all here, so this would be the six. No, no. Do 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 and you also get uh, three, uh, what are these? Three uh, tensor bandages, 
tensor bandage. Where did I see that tensor bandage? I should look for the six again. Not too much six. Ah, three six inch tensor bandages. All right. Stop bandages. Uh, they're quite heavy duty, as you can see. Uh, they're uh, what are they? There doesn't seem to be a uh, four multi-purpose wound and trauma dressings. Oh, that's all they are. All right, so you got four of them. One, two, three, four. I thought for sure these actually had some kind of a. Uh, uh, a size on them. All right. Uh, you get two of these uh, universal splints. They're 36 inch. Uh, these things are pretty cool. I've been reading up about them. They're quite useful. You can fold them and double their strength. Uh, here's some more sterile gauze roll. Uh, as you can see, this stuff's pretty heavy duty as well. This is 4.5 by 41 yards. And you get two of them. And you also get three of these uh, instant ice compress uh, cold packs. Uh, it's got little granular seeds of uh, goodness in there, and uh, you just squeeze it, break the liquid inside, and then you shake it up, and a chemical reaction happens, and uh, there you go, you got like a, a cold pack, instant ice compressed cold pack. It's pretty cool. So yeah, three of those. So we're almost done now. Two of these uh, multi-trauma dressings, 12 by 30 uh, inches uh, for major chest wounds, I'm assuming. So you have this big pocket here, which is where I keep them. And you've also got another little pocket right here, which uh, goes right to the bottom, they both do. Also, you get these two little doohickeys, which are Velcro, and they're dangling. Uh, I don't know what you would put in there. I was thinking of putting those breathing uh, respirators, uh, the face guard respirators that you breathe into to resuscitate a person, because they do have that little metal ring on it, but I decided not to. So I was pretty happy when I got this. There was only one problem with this uh, with this whole package when I got it, and uh, that was uh, I got a neck brace. I got this neck brace with it. Um, now the thing is, is when they put it in here, as you can see, it's quite long. When they put it in, they folded it up, and that caused it to break, uh, rendering it useless. Uh, I called them about it, uh, or actually I emailed them and I let them know uh, that because it had folded, it, it broke, rendering it useless, and they were like, no problem, we'll send you another one. So that's why I didn't do the review until today, because I was waiting to get my replacement cervical collar in the mail, and it just came the other day. It came in this box here, and of course, is there a one-year limited warranty, and... Uh, of course, underneath this piece of paper, this other piece of paper, is the uh, order form. Uh, yeah. Also, you get one of these things. Uh, I got one with my backpack as well, but I forgot to show you guys. Uh, I guess I took it out of the box and put it somewhere. So, uh... Yeah, I have two of these now. 
And uh, this is my replacement cervical collar. Uh, this is a military cervical collar, which is way better than the one that they originally gave me, which was just plastic and uh, foam. Uh, yeah, okay, this one's plastic and foam as well. But uh, it's also, as you can see here, uh, you can pop this up and you can do the same on this one. Pop this one up uh, and you can actually adjust this to the different sizes of the people. Uh, to short, uh, medium, tall, and extra tall. And then you can push these two clasps out and that'll allow you to return it to the size that it was before, which is really cool. I really like this cervical collar way better than the other one, because the other one was just a crappy color. So thank you Voodoo Tactical for uh, sending me the replacement cervical collar, and not only did they send me a better cervical collar, but they gave me an extra 4 inch uh, trauma wound dressing hemorrhage control bandage so now I have three of these instead of just the two uh, yeah so that's pretty much it by the way this goes way into the back if uh, if you decide you're gonna order this from uh, voodoo tactical I would suggest you tell them to not fold this in half but to put it in the very back uh, pocket and just let it sit over everything like this uh, because when it's all closed up there's still this room up on top so it just sits there and it won't actually break which is great so uh, that's it that's the uh, voodoo tactical backpack stomp fully loaded medical backpack that is um, because I got it at 10% off, I saved $50, so I believe it's retailing for $469 plus $28 shipping and handling. Uh, they were very professional about it. I was able to track it the entire way right to my front door. Uh, it was probably my most pleasant buying experience on eBay. So I just want to thank the guys at, and girls at Voodoo Tactical uh, for their professionalism and uh, and they're fine, fine product, which, you know, is more than worth the price that I paid for. But I'll tell you this, as, as happy as I am to have such a robust medical backpack, I hope I will never have to use any of it. All right. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.